Strangers. Uh, we believe in the Fate House and people who have been involved with interfaith work that there is a new importance to uh, strangers in our spiritual life. In the past, it used to be that we were separated from people who are different from us, from our groups. But now, people are coming very close. We see their lives, we see what moves them, we see what bothers them. But there's more to it than just being nice to a stranger. Uh, a stranger can say, can see in us, in our group, what we cannot see. And a stranger has a, a right, in some way, because they are strangers, to say what we cannot say. We depend on strangers today to understand ourselves. So it is through the eyes of the other that we can learn more about ourselves in many ways than we can learn any other way. Uh, that's why opening up to stranger is a spiritual discipline we argue that every religious person today needs to practice in today's world when we are so interconnected in so many ways. Um, in New York, strangers are very close. Uh, we bump into them every day. But in some, some other places of, of the country, uh, strangers are also close, but we might not be aware of that. And, and it takes very little to open up, uh, to experience the world in other person's shoes, um, and actually ask them, uh, what do they see in our tradition that inspires them? And what do they see in our tradition that uh, puzzles them? Uh, those are, that, those are the, uh, besides our scripture and our community and our rituals, we believe in Faith House that uh, this is the fourth way we do understand our own faith. And I hope that um, um, you have experiences of uh, deepening your faith because you have been opening up. And if you can uh, find a way to tell us about it, we would appreciate it.